I don't tell them you're so yeah. excited. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, no. And like, today's project. So this craft is cool. It, it, it is, really is. It is. I like cool. it. Yes. I mean, I'm yeah. fond of yeah. it myself. And this is what I'm calling a dollar project. Not that it costs a dollar, okay. but what what it means is that it was inspired by something that's super expensive. Then I made an inexpensive version. That's why I call it a dollar project because okay. we're doing it for so few dollars, dollars. Okay. Like compared that. to the original version. Okay. And today we're going to be making the easy peasy forty dollar DIY bench. Okay, are okay. you intrigued? I'm intrigued. Okay. Yes. Let bench me show you. Good. Let me show you how to make it now. Oh. You're going to need some wood. You'll need seven two by fours. Okay, I got okay. the eight foot length. Then you're going to cut four pieces at forty inches. Five pieces at 33 inches. Chop saw is a good thing to have. I love that. <laughs> yeah. 10 pieces at 16 inches, and then eight pieces at 12 and a half inches, okay? Okay. Now the cutting takes the longest part. Okay, now we're going to assemble the bottom by alternating the long pieces. Ah. Now we're adding the legs, which are the shorter pieces, alternating between the tall and the short. We're kind of fitting them in kind of like a little puzzle. Uh -huh. Almost like That's those. That's nice. Now, here's the secret it's three supplies. This is construction adhesive. Yes. Super, right. super strong. And here's my after making this, I'll tell you this use a lot. Okay. I would use more than what I'm actually using just because you want to make sure it's strong. And when you, when you do clamp it together at the end, you can wipe off the excess glue right. and wear rubber right. gloves. <clears throat> Periodically through this process, mm -hmm. I'm gonna use that uh, carpenter square to make sure that everything's at the right angle. Mm -hmm. You wanna okay. make sure that it's perfectly straight because it's gonna be a bench, you know. Keep gluing, I actually used two tubes of liquid nails, and now I'm clamping it together. One in the middle section, then a clamp on each of the legs. You can, you're gonna need pretty big clamps because the, yeah. the width of this bench right. is about 13 inches, so okay. make sure you have a clamp okay. that can do 13 inches. Now we're going to sand it. It's not going to be perfect. The wood I got has, you know, you made cuts. Right. There's going to be abrasive edges. You want to make sure it's smooth because you're going to be sitting on it and you don't want to splinter. That's yeah. right, you don't. Now you get to stain it whatever color you want. Now this is a okay. stain and sealer in one because even though I would keep this on a covered porch, you want to make sure it's protected from the elements. And again, I would bring this in in the winter if, if you're not going to be using it in the winter. Okay. If you're going to have it outside. And I would also put an extra coat of sealer on it just in case. In case. Yeah. Just For in protective. case. Yes. yes. And you want to protect it. And here is the finished product Love right it. here. Look at that. Again, $40. And I did two coats of stain, by the way, just so you know. Did. A couple okay. of caveats. Yes. I guess one caveat. <laughs> Be patient. Oh, oh yes. That's, oh, yes. That's my problem, that? Tom. That's oh, my I'm, problem. I'm the same I'm way well. I want it done now. Yes. The, the hardest thing is it, it probably takes three days total to make because once you put it together, you have yes. to wait at least 24 hours for, for the liquid dry. nails to dry. Yeah. At least. The glue has to set. Okay. If not, a little longer. Okay. Yeah, it wouldn't hurt. Yeah. Then when you stain it, Please make sure, and I've learned this the hard way, which I'm going to show you. Mm -hmm. um, I got stain on my pants. On his favorite on my favorite khakis. Oh khakis, my goodness. Right here. Can you see that? And it if looks anybody terrible. knows how to get that out for sure, let us know. Yeah, right? well, you do, me. I'll tell you exactly what oh, you Tom do. Knows. What? You, you get a rag, you dip it in stain, and you put stain all over oh, the Oh, you color all your stain. So I'm in brown pants now. Well, there no, you no, go. no, no, no. You make it, you're like a, just a random pattern. Oh, <laughs> I like it. You know the splatter paint jeans that were right. in the 80s? Right, the very in. I get stain care of it all. jeans. Yeah. That's what you do. And you can, because you, you, you love see? those pants. And it'll match the bow tie perfectly. I do love these pants This a is lot, a beautiful oh, bench. You still it's get the pants, it's just it'll be different color. And Tom, let me tell you, on this bench, the, the examples I used uh, in my video on Facebook were I found a bench similar that was $450, oh, one that was wow. $750, my goodness. and one that was $895 for the very similar, not exactly, okay. but similar benches. Yeah. Now, I've seen, you know, chairs made like this, mm -hmm. tables made like yes. this, with the, you know, the the, the design that you yes, have absolutely. here, every uh -huh. other... Uh, Looks great. <laughs> It's very inexpensive if you it's make expensive, it yourself. But Tom, guess what? That's what I'm saying. You could actually alter this pattern and make a console table. Oh, right? yeah, you or could. Or you could extend it this way to make a coffee table. That's yep. good. You could, I would actually use this probably inside more because it's going to be protected from the outdoor elements. Right. But again, just alternate the pattern, like make it taller, right. make it wider. Make a coffee table or whatever you want to make. Or make one of all right. three and then you have your own set of furniture in your that house. That is fantastic. It's you so easy. You can make easy. stackables even. Like, with you these. absolutely could. Mm -hmm. Bookshelves. Yeah. yeah. Stack it. Okay, now okay. I am giving this away, okay. just so you oh, know. Oh, cool. What because a great gift. Thank not you. to you, Tom. Thank you. Oh, I thought I was going <laughs> to. <laughs> if you want to win this adorable and affordable DIY bench, just head over to the Ozarks Live 
Facebook page and share and like and comment on the how-to video that I posted. Or you can go to the FYI Guy Jeremy Ray Facebook page as well because that will double your chances for winning. The more you comment, the more you like, the more you share. Guess what? More times you're entered to win. Absolutely, nice to it's beautiful. I love now, to give do stuff you wanna, away. Do you want to say how much you did spend on this? Yeah, forty dollars. Oh, forty bucks. Okay, very That's good. That's it. That's wonderful. And you could probably, if you have some spare wood in your garage, you could make make, make it, it much cheaper. Absolutely. Yeah, because the wood is no expensive. Ask your neighbors. A lot of people have scrap lumber yeah, sitting around sure just do. like that. Use right. what you have and only buy what you have to. Absolutely. All right. Thank you, and I you're hope welcome. you can salvage your pants. I know. I hope so too. Okay. I need help. Guess what? Up next, it's Ozark songbook songbook time with Harry Beckett. And we're all singing today, so stay tuned for that. It's going to be fun. We'll be right back. Oh,